Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Prado G and I am here with my boy Ibram. What's up y'all? How y'all doing? I don't know how you found your way to this channel or to this particular video, but if you are one of my fans that's been rocking with me for a while, thank you for all the support. I freaking love you so much. Pride Squad all day. Today this video is going to be about how me and this guy met. I love him so much. This is my boyfriend in case y'all did not know that. And we've been in a relationship for like, what, four years now? We met each other in June, but we started dating on July 1st of... 2015? Exactly. 2015. See, he knows the date. A lot of y'all still did not know that I have a boyfriend. Y'all be asking me all the time on my live streams and on social media, do you have a girlfriend? No, I have a boyfriend. So if you watch this video, then you will be informed by that. We actually found each other off of social media. We sure did. Yeah, it was a dating app. He can't even talk. He's yeah, no, flustered because he's in a relationship with me. No, I mean... <laughs> Watch your mind. Anyway, you watch um, it. <laughs> Forgot we're recording because obviously I'm pushing you plays. <laughs> Calm down. There's no place to put me in except first place. <laughs> you watch it. <laughs> so I'm a cancer. I was born June 22nd, 1995. As y'all should know if you watched my previous videos on YouTube. And I'm a Capricorn. So I was born in January 6, 1995. No cap, but I love this one. <laughs> And the one that I graduated with. Uh, uh, anyway, starting off in this relationship was great. It was bliss, just like every relationship that you first start with. Like, if you find interest in a person, for the first few weeks and months is going to feel like sometimes, bliss. Like sometimes the first year can be the whole honeymoon phase. And that's why I wasn't so quick to post him on social media because it's just like people get into relationships so quick. You see all these YouTube couples. No, this is a real couple. Right. However, before this, we have been together for like three plus years, like I said, almost mm -hmm. four years. And you don't really see that much of us on each other's social media. Right. And that's because we were really into keeping our life more private. Right. But in order for you to really pop and blow up, you gotta be interesting. You gotta be willing to let people in so that they can know what's going on. And if you don't, then you're just not interesting. So that's why we're doing this video right now. But I've dated a Capricorn before and I'm really still in close connection with her. But this Capricorn right here is just, Amazing. I, I freaking love him. I've never dated a cancer before, so <laughs> whoop did he do? I don't judge everyone by their like horoscope. So like, you know, he's a cancer, but I know that they're emotional, quote unquote, but I mean, everyone's emotional. So it's like, it's just, I saw him for him. It wasn't out of my like element. Of course, I had dated a dude before, but this is the longest relationship both of us have ever been in. Our honeymoon phase, I was the DJ at a skate rink. Yeah, Starbucks. I was working at Starbucks. Yeah. Life progresses. We literally moved out on our own for the first time together. What we haven't experienced with anyone else, we experienced together, which makes a relationship even closer. Like it makes us a lot closer than what I ever thought that I would be with with anybody. When I first got into this relationship I wasn't even expecting that much out of the relationship I was just looking for somebody but I found this guy and now I'm, I've been here stuck sometimes it's easy to get bored we had our little cheating moments but we rekindled that relationship patched it up and move on if we feel like that we're not doing enough for each other then what can we do to make ourselves better that's how we do it now before it wasn't so easy we didn't take it out on each other the right way it should have been more like Oh, okay. more understanding. You know, I'm under, right, like I'm going through something right now because you're doing stuff and I'm not right. okay with it. But then it didn't. It was more like, a, well, I'm going to be petty. Right. <laughs> I'm going to do what I want to do. Because if you're being right. sneaky like that, then that's automatically going to cause somebody to backlash. Like you telling me yeah, one thing and then mm -hmm. behind my back you're doing something else. So that's right. why you just got to be transparent. I'm just so proud at how far we've come for you working from home and me working from home, being a social media influencer, right. being on TikTok and creating content for you YouTube and Instagram, I just love this life, this part of life that we're in and we're just gonna to continue to grow. At a time though, we did both work together. Yeah, we did. We actually did work with each other for like a good, what, a year and a half? Yeah. At this catering company called Catering Works. And he put me onto the job. Of course, he had the job first and I was yes. looking for a job. I was a little broke nigga. And <laughs> <laughs> I needed some money. So he talked to the people and we got up in there and we was killing it, yo. Yeah, they knew good. that we was a couple and they respected us. And, and they were okay that I was actually like, like I was a supervisor. 
so that was another thing too like it was like you know where they didn't care driver? they didn't care how many people do you know that really have been in a relationship and actually be able to work with each other we used to have issues sometimes prior to going to work oh and we would just have to get over him and that's what i love with him <laughs> little, is that little petty little arguments in the morning but then when we got into work we tried to not bring it there so you know it was just kind of like a it was kind of like a you know like Imagine yeah, I need to push it off to the side. This is work. I need my check. <laughs> right. Can't bring this here. We got to pay bills. We're going to film every day talking about what we're eating at the time and how we're feeling. Documenting Dude, how we're feeling. This. Right. Because we're not going to be eating any meat, guys. What we're going to be eating is vegetables, fruit, and uh, freaking smoothies. Drinking water. smoothies and, and water. Yes, I always drink water. That's part of my yes. everyday diet anyway. I love water. Where's my bottle at? Oh, it's over there. No, I was this, that's, over there. that's mine. Oh, that's yours. Oh. Wait, where's my? No, it's, it's not that serious. <laughs> okay. Brought to you by Essentia. Even though this is no promo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna pay for this. We're gonna be documenting that because it's time to cleanse our bodies. It's time to get rid of all the negative sludge in our bodies so that we can be as positive as we can for each other and elevate and rise to a higher level. This is my partner. This is my ride or die. This is my my homie. Like I, I love this dude to death to the point to where I look at me all you want. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. Be Simone voice. Yeah, it's gotta, it gotta get out. It, it gotta to get go. out. It has to go. I'm but. Good. With that being said, gone, everybody, man. make sure you go check us out on Instagram. Identity is his name on TikTok. On TikTok, but all other social media, it's Ibram. E-Y-E-B-R-A. Underscore? Is it not underscore? It is not underscore. Okay, you need to tell them this. Sorry. They don't know this. Yeah. And my name is Prado G <laughs> on social media, but y'all should already know that. This is my channel, and I'm so glad to see you guys here. But all relationships that you have in your life, you need to take care of them. You need to make sure you put in nourishment into your relationships so that they can grow and yes. appreciate your life. But the biggest and the most greatest and the most important relationship that you need to build is the one with yourself. Love yourself, and then you will find those who truly love you. Yes, if so, you can project onto them. Then that means, you know, treat others how you want to be treated. And like he said, including yourself. So you got to show yourself love, passion, and understanding. I love you. Love you too. And I love y'all too. See you later. Bye. Bye.